It's silence on set. Quiet on set, Elton. Quiet, Quiet on, on set, set, Elton. This video is in partnership with Bose. It is so nice having my first home and having it outfitted with Bose products that provide incredible sound in every single room. Whew, wow, girl, I feel like overwhelmed. I am sweating. This feels like weirdly emotional. This feels like a bigger deal than it probably should be. It to feels me. like a little wedding. It does. I have done so many countless decorated apartment tours, but this isn't a decorated apartment tour. This is a decorated condo tour. And what is the difference? I own this place. This is mine. This is my home. I bought this almost two years ago and after a lengthy and extraordinarily painful renovation, I got to move in almost five months ago and it has been months of, of decorating and getting this place ready. And I just couldn't be more excited to show you the finished results. I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't be more grateful. I think all of us grow up dreaming of owning a home, but particularly as a young disabled girl, there were many times where that felt like it was something that would probably never happen for me. And I'm just filled with overwhelming gratitude and honestly a lot of pride that I, I did it, that I own this, this is mine. And nobody can ever take that away from me except the bank if I you know skip my mortgage or something. But I won't. I won't. Um, okay, so welcome to the home. I am starting at the front door. Now, you might have seen this video that I posted right after I moved in, which was the empty tour. If you want all the details, like seeing me open cupboards and open closets and talk about every detail of the physical space, I am going to reference that video. You should go check that out. I'm not going to do that in this video because Lord knows it's already going to be way too long already. I'm going to try to tell you all the details of the decor and some of the key features that I think you might be curious about. I'm going to have as many things linked below as possible. Everything from the dishes to the quartz, okay? I'm going to try to link as many things in the description box as possible. So that is going to be your little gold mine. I'm going to have everything written on screen as well. So if I don't say it, it'll hopefully be written on screen. Yada, yada, yada. I'm not trying to make this feel like a commercial, but I know when I see these tours, I want to know where everything's from. I'm curious. I'm nosy. If I like your style, I might want to buy it. So let's get started. When you enter the front door, there's lots of texture. I have these warm wood tambour walls. This is actually a door, but it's like nice and hidden and subtle and I absolutely adore it. And I'm going to turn left into the kitchen. Now, right here, we have my wine rack. It's so fun, like this glowing light around it. This is a bubbly rosé. It is not for drinking purposes. It is simply for display purposes. And I love the vibes. Then we move into this nice, like hidden fridge. I, I think like hidden appliances are just so chic. And I definitely wanted this space to feel chic, to feel modern, but to still feel cozy and homey. And I think we definitely accomplished the vibes. The kind of base of the space is very, very neutral. Um, so I tried to add lots of pops of color um, while still keeping that kind of chic vibe throughout the space with the decor. This is a light oak wood. Uh, and then the handles are a matte black and they're M-Tech and pretty much all the handles in my space are. Though we actually have very few of them. All of the cabinetry you'll actually notice and most of the doors are actually just flat front. And I did that because I find that the more knobs there are, the more things for my hip to bump into or for my sleeve to get caught on. And so I like having flat front. We also have the Bosch appliances, pretty much all of my appliances that are built in are Bosch. So we have the wall oven here. And then in the corner is Lavender's Zone. We have her little kitty feeder and it is just so cute and stylish. It's really hard to find like funky dog and cat stuff. Um, so I'm so obsessed with the one that we ended up finding. It's basically like this little plastic black and white cat and then there's bowls on either side. It's meant to be one for food, one for water, but honestly she doesn't like to use the water one. So it's mostly just for food. And then in the corner beside it there, we have one of our Bose speakers. Which often becomes her TV. Oh yeah, that's true. It has a little screen on it. So when you're playing music or podcasts, you can actually see the album cover and she'll just sit there and watch it. 
It's so cute. The specific Bose speaker that I have throughout my space is the Bose Smart Speaker 500. The one in my kitchen is black. The one in my studio is black. The one in my bedroom is silver. Having a smart speaker system throughout the home was really important to me because a lot of the stuff in my home, of course, is smart home technology. So I'm able to basically control a lot of the things in my home, including my Bosch appliances with my voice, which is very fun. Then from the back wall, which is the oak, we transition here to a white. It is a soft white and we have under cabinet lighting for both the bottom and top. This way I can just look at the light and reach towards the light and know exactly where to open, which I love. I did an entire video recently where I talk about just specifically the accessible features of this space. So if you want to just hone in on that, check that video out. Um, our countertops are Cosentino Calcutta Gold and this quartz. I wanted a low maintenance countertop, so absolutely love this. Keeps the space bright but warm and low maintenance. Then I have my Smeg appliances. I've had these for years. This is a four piece toaster in a cream, creamy white. Uh, then we just have some nice little flowers. And then I have my little Smeg matching, um, oh my God, kettle. kettle. Kettle for all my tea drinking needs, which there is plenty of. Now I'm kind of currently walking between the side counter and the island. It is a 10 foot island, which is very big for you know, a relatively small footprint. This space is 1,100 square feet, two bedroom, two bathroom. And you'll notice that we have rounded corners absolutely everywhere, which is one of my absolute favorite, must have, highly recommend features of this home because trust me, as much as I know my space, I do bump into things still. Uh, and so when I bump into this, it doesn't hurt nearly as much as those pointy corners, those pesky pointy corners. Uh, and of course, wrapped around here, we also have more texture. And the island is white as well. I have this Panasonic microwave in my island with tactile buttons so that I can feel them, unlike all of those pesky flat screen ones that you're seeing everywhere nowadays. And then as you walk forward, we have a garbage can built in under here. We have this nice deep sink. It is a nice matte gray color with, with mm. this beautiful brass soft gold tap. And next to it, we have this little mini tab which you wouldn't have seen because it wasn't put in yet, but this is a filtered tap. So basically anytime that I want water, it is pre-filtered and I can fill my water bottle or my glass with this. And I love this feature. Above the sink, we have shelving, just open display shelving in that light oak color again. So it's this real mix of like warm whites, the creamy gold, oak, like it's just a really warm space while still feeling very bright and open, which I adore. And then we have our little coffee station. So here I have my Smeg coffee machine. I managed to get it 50% off. It was a steal. Mm. So I can have my espresso. Uh, it also makes like lattes, cappuccinos. So love that, so cute. And look at these plates, you guys. It's these gold- There's something on the plate for you, Molly. One of your favorites. Is, okay, I'm gonna need to. I need to take a quick bite. Give me, give me a second, everyone. You can tell them about the plates, Neve. I've got a. The plates came from Shannon from Duel, mm. and they have bees in them, and they're gold. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Everyone needs a little mid mid filming snack. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What is this, Mom? Falafel. Falafel. Oh no! It's not what am I saying? You know what it is. I don't know what it is. You're, you're the, the, the fan. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. Well, I was eating, I had my mouth full, so I figured you could like fill in. <laughs> Apparently not. No. Now you've made me forget the name. What is it called, Dad? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't even know where you bought it. Baklava. It's a little mini baklava bite to have with the espresso. So freaking cute. Um, and then we have our nice little hidden dishwasher and the kick plates on there now. Just got a panel of light switches here, pretty exciting. Now we're gonna wrap around the island. In the middle of the island, you will see the induction cooktop. Love, love, love. Don't worry, there is a Molly Learns to Cook series coming most likely this summer. So on this side of the island, this is where we sit. It seats three. These stools are from Article. They're indoor, outdoor stools. They're so comfortable. Would it be like more convenient if I had decided to go with ones that were backless. Yes, and I knew that because they would just like more seamlessly tuck under. But when I sit, like I wanna rest my back. So I 
I made that decision and I love these. They're really, really comfortable. They're like this nice neutral, just really blends in with the kitchen. And it lets my nice kind of pottery inspired dishware kind of pop and be the fun expression of color in the space. This is all from Anthropology. I just love this Levi set. So nice, love, love, love. And then I'm gonna bring you back to the front door. So now we know when you walk in, you go left, we've got the kitchen. And then on the right here, we have these absolutely adorable black bunny head hooks. These are for the dog leashes and the harness, very important. This wall, for those who can't see, is also wood paneled. So the door and this side wall here are paneled with this kind of nice warm brown tambour. We've got a bunch of switches here and a guide dog that I have to step over. It's so helpful, Elton John. Um, not all of the switches have been switched to the dimmers yet, but they will be. The lighting in here is one of the most special, beautiful parts of it. And one of the things that I love the most, of course, you guys know, light is basically all I can see. So it's nice to have a space where there's like so much interesting, intricate lighting for me to look at and enjoy, but I will love it even more when all the dimmer switches are on. Um, and here we have this built-in kind of shelf here. This is storage, so you can lift this up. It is kind of a nice light gray color. We have this dish here, which is where we keep our keys. That's from Dwell Living. I have this storage bench here. Uh, it is a boucle cream, uh, so it's a nice textural fabric. And this is also from Article. I sit here while I put on and take off my shoes. Uh, and it Show also... your shoes. Oh, I have these like fun little sparkly shoe moment. There we go. It's the first time I'm wearing them. I'm actually wearing the same outfit as in the empty tour, uh, different shoes, but same outfit because I was like, it feels like full circle. Um, but yeah, this has all the dog and cat toys and products inside of it. Uh, and then there's this really cool brass mirror. It is a half circle that goes above and below the shelving unit and it has a light that wraps around it. So it's a backlit mirror. And this is the only full length mirror in the space because I don't look in full length mirrors. So if people wanna check their outfit before they leave my house, their only way is in a bronze tinted mirror that has a shelf running through the center of it. And it's rounded edges. Okay, now we come to the dining room. And most of what you're seeing kind of on the table as display is anthropology. Uh, and apparently I got another little treat. Surprise, <laughs> thanks mom. Um, and this gold flatware, I absolutely adore. And this is from Fable Living. Can't recommend enough. It is pricey, but it's really hard to find gold flatware that's actually dishwasher safe. And it is. And it is. And it's very high quality. And I just think it like looks so beautiful in this space because most of the accents in this space are kind of brass and gold coloring. Now, this also has that same tambour textured wall. Eventually there will be art behind this dining table. It has a picture light, which is a light that's affixed to the wall that will essentially light the art up. Um, the only thing we have not completed in this entire space is artwork. Uh, we have one piece of artwork and that's it. I am working on it, but to me, I've spent so much time designing this space that I want the art to be just as special and just as meaningful. I don't wanna just buy art to put on the walls to have art on my walls. I want to work with artists that I know and love. I wanna get pieces that are special and meaningful and have a story behind them that I can have for a really long time. And that just doesn't come overnight. Art is also often quite expensive and I have shockingly invested a lot of money into this space. It's been my biggest investment to date. And so I frankly just don't have the funds right now to continue to invest in the space. I'm gonna take some time, take a break, and come back to that. So you won't see art on the walls yet, unfortunately, but we will get there. Uh, there's more lighting here. And then we have a built-in bench. This is an L-shaped bench. It's called a banquette. So if you can't see, picture like a booth at a restaurant. It's essentially built-in seating, um, and it's in an L-shape. And the table is custom. It is that same Calcutta gold quartz from Cosentino. And then there is a custom gold base. The table is almost like an egg shape or a rounded triangle. It's really interesting. And it keeps the space very walkable, very open. And you can actually seat six people here, which is phenomenal. Um, we have it currently set to seat three, which is how it usually is on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and it is that same light oak bench. 
Um, and both are storage, so they do lift up for additional storage, which is always so important to do built into condos and small spaces. And then we have just these nice um, mustard cushions. They're big, comfy, textural mustard cushions, and we have three of them so that you can like kind of cozy up when you're sitting on the bench. And then at the end of the dining table, the tambour on the wall ends and there's a strip of light that runs down and that almost separates the open concept living room dining room. Um, so it's kind of like there's no actual divide, but that provides a physical divide. The wall here is just painted white. And then I have this gold and marble base side table from Article. And then there is my white Bose base module 700, which helps provide base for both music and television watching. Underneath it is a very textural cream carpet. This very textural cream carpet does need a lot of cleaning, lots of vacuuming because of all the black animal hair I have floating around here from my three animals, but I do love it. And then this chair here is a swivel chair, which is very fun and it's very comfortable. It is the same cream boucle fabric as the bench back there. They like literally match. Um, and then we have this sea foam pillow. So you'll see kind of, we just have these pops of jewel tones and pastels throughout and then lots of neutrals still. Um, here I have this honeycomb shaped coffee table, which I absolutely love. I've had this for a while now. Obviously I love the shape because you know, the bees. Uh, and it's a marble top with a gold base, goes perfectly with everything else. Uh, we have this giant candle in the middle, which I love looking at all the twinkly flames. And I feel like the middle of this coffee table just needs something and that's perfect. I got it from Pottery Barn on sale. I managed to snag honestly like most of my stuff on sale, which I'm very grateful for. And this couch, I love this couch. It is so comfortable. It is it, where Lavender spends most of her day. Okay, she loves this couch. It is this beautiful teal color. Article calls it Pacific Blue. Uh, and it's an L-shaped sectional, which I love an L-shape. It's tufted on the base where you sit. It's this really cushy, soft material. The velvet is just, not all velvets are created equal. This is a good velvet. Like, I love this. And I just think the color is so great in this space. And then we have these cushions with these embroidered dogs all over them that I got from Anthropology, And we have two of them on like one on either side of the couch. And then we have this throw at the back from Article, which is almost like this sheep skin fur thing. Um, and that's lavender just adores, don't you babes? And the ceiling in this space is super interesting. It's a vinyl stretch ceiling. So on the one side it's high gloss and on the other it's more matte and it's divided by a strip of light down the center. And it gives this illusion on the shiny glossy side that the ceiling is really, really high. And people always comment on it when they come in. Down at the other end of the couch, we do have like a little gold table that I've had for years. Honestly, I would have gotten two of the article ones so that they matched, but I actually didn't think there would be room for both. So I might just buy a second article one so that it mirrors each other. And Lavender has her poop palace. Very important. And then at the end, there's like two windows. And between the windows, we have this copper bar cart, which I've also had for years. I adore it. And we actually, for the first time ever, set it up as a bar cart. Um, not for this video. When I say for the first time ever, I mean I've always used it to display different things. But this is the first time I'm actually using it for its intended purpose. So it has like a little gold um, cocktail shaker and a little book with cocktail recipes and cocktail glasses. And it's just super, super cute. So really love the whole vibe that that gives the space. And then on the other side of the bar cart is where the vibe space is, which we now call um, Elton's icebox or his refrigerator, because that's where he likes to go out and lay on the cold tile to cool down when he gets overheated. Um, so we just basically leave the door open most of the day. Lavender also loves to go out there and sunbathe. Essentially, it's like a balcony that's enclosed with glass. There is a window, so I can open the window. And out there, it's all like black, white, cream, gray, gold, like the same kind of color scheme. We have two comfy chairs out there from Article, a poof to put your feet on, and little tables all from Article. Uh, we also keep my studio lights out there. 
Um, but I love that. I also have my Bose portable smart speaker out there, which is one that I can basically move around. I bring it into the bathroom. I bring it out to there. I bring it to the beach with me, whatever. That way I can listen to music or podcasts with higher quality audio wherever I want to be. Um, and we can't really show you that space very well uh, because it is all glass and then you'll see where I live. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of put some B-roll of the furniture and stuff that is out there. And then across here, we do have the studio slash guest room, which I'll get to later. Uh, here we have this really interesting, very like feature wall. So this is from Dell Tile and it is tile. It looks like marble, but it is literally like a giant slab of tile along the entire wall. And then on it, we have the Samsung picture frame TV, which basically allows us to display artwork instead of just having like a black box on the wall. So that's kind of fun. It's like one of my only pieces of art. And then we have the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 in white, which goes with the base module over there. And our fireplace, which is like real flame. It's by Bioflame. And it is a smart fireplace, which means I can control it with Alexa. I can tell Alexa to turn on the fireplace. It is so fun. Alexa, turn off the fireplace. Okay. I love it. So do you. So this is just, I don't know, such a special wall and we do sit on the couch as a family or have friends over and watch movies and like have the fire going and just have a special night and I, I just love this. I never had a TV in any of the apartments that I rented, but now that I have one, I like went and got one for LA because I just love it so much. And then it rounds to these shelving units at the end here. There is three display shelves that are lit up. They are rounded edges uh, and we have this dog and bunny combo so you will see like little touches of animals mostly dogs and bunnies and bees throughout the space um, so it's a white bunny it's a female body with a white bunny head and then it's a black male body with a black dog's head uh, and I, I just think these pieces of art are so cool and so interesting. And then in the middle, we just have white flowers just to keep it fresh, add some greenery. We'd love to get more plants in the space, but we just like, like the artwork, we just haven't done that yet. Here we have push front cupboards. Uh, on the one side, it's for shoes. And on the other side, it's for hanging jackets. So when people come in, we can just put their jackets and shoes nicely in here. And this is more tambour. Oh, I have my Nest thermostat so I can control the temperature from an app on my phone. We love that. And then here we have the laundry. I love that I have like full-sized laundry. This is like, more, like that's how I know I'm an adult. It's more exciting than it should be. And then we have built-in um, shelving for all of the kind of cleaning products and whatnot. It's a very, very tiny mini little laundry room. Hello and welcome in to the guest room slash studio space. So there's two windows in here. One actually looks out onto the vibe space. Um, and then you walk across from the door and you have the built-in desk slash vanity. This was very tricky um, to get a chair for because unfortunately they did build it like slightly lower than the standard tabletop. So with a lot of digging, we were able to find this chair. Would it be my first choice? No, but I'm just happy we were able to find a chair that suits the vibe that I was going for. It is this like fluffy cream chair. It's an office chair with gold legs. So it definitely suits the vibe. Uh, and then this opens up. And then I love this. This is a very textural kind of feature wall. It is this tile. We can put a um, neon sign there. We haven't yet. I just haven't decided if I'm going to or not. I think it would look great, but I don't know. Just haven't decided. But for now, this is this beautiful tile wall from Ansax. I am obsessed with Ansax tile. They just, to me, make the most beautiful feature tiles. And then there's some built-in drawers. Here we have some more of my makeup stuff. These are like these gold and clear makeup display things. Okay, so I love this brush display. All of these are from Amazon, by the way, because it actually spins. It's a little squeaky, but it is really convenient. So yeah, that's all kind of just little makeup and stuff displayed. And then we have this like open display shelving. Originally there was gonna be like shoes and handbags, but it just wasn't the vibe when we were trying to style it. So we ended up just getting these boxes from like 
home goods or something and they just have like honeybees and stuff on them that's there's nothing much really to say about it there's like gold siding it's lit up it's a vibe and then we have closets just built-in closets nothing interesting to see here just clothes hanging uh, we have this carpet on the floor uh, we wanted it to soak up sound it is still very echoey in here I don't know what to do about that. If anybody has ideas, let me know. But we got this on Wayfair and it was a little bit of a tricky size to find. So I'm so glad we found one that works so well in this space. It's nice and textural as well, just like the one in the living room. And it's gray and cream-ish, right? It is not cream, it's gray and white. I don't know. There's a slightly dark gray, a white and a light gray. I'm blind. It's a, you know. I can't remember every detail. Uh, and then back here we have these gold arches, which are so fun with these glass shelves. And we just have a bunch of different funky, interesting, unique decor items, like these faux candles that we got at Pottery Barn in these glass domes. I have my silver flying pig, lots of candles, this very cool like eye plate. And this is a bed. This, believe it or not, is a queen-sized Murphy bed. For those who can't see, you would never think this is a bed. I'm gonna put some B-roll here of the bed down so you can see what this space looks like when this is actually a queen-sized sleepable bed. But right now, it's just this like textural tambour, these gold handles, and it looks like it's just more cupboard space. It's very sneaky, disguised Murphy bed. And then on the other side, once again, we just have more display shelving. Uh, we have that same candle, the faux candle mirroring on each side, just some other candles. We have my Allure A-list plaque, some TikTok books that I'm in, and my other Bose speaker. This is also a shelf that pulls out with the gold base. So that way when somebody is like laying in the bed, they can put a cup of tea here or something like that, lay their phone down, which I think is such a great detail. And then just some drawers. And here we have like the only piece of art that's on the walls. Uh, and this has been with me for years. You have probably seen it in the background of many a video back from when I bought it in LA. And it is just like this black, gray and white, like close up of a woman's face. There's glitter on it. And it just kind of goes with the vibe of this whole space. Okay, now that you've seen the guest room, I am back where the laundry is so we can walk down this hallway here. Again, the hallway is just painted white. Most of the walls in the space are just painted white. And this is like this little carved out nook behind the laundry where we just have Galloper Gooseman's feeding zone and we store like lavender food, gallop food, and kitty litter. Very exciting stuff. At the end of this little short hallway, we have two doors. These are Mitri doors, which we painted black. And then we have these gold and clear handles from Emtech. I love my knobs. I love them so much. I just think these doors are so sleek and interesting. I love the black against the white. Love the whole vibe. So here we have my bedroom. And here we have the guest bathroom. I'm sorry, it's very echoey. Hello! It's very echoey. Hello. Um, so let's go into the guest bathroom, which is my favorite room in the entire space. This bathroom is chic. She is sleek. She is high-end luxury. She is a whole vibe. It is all black and white with a little bit of gold. I can't express to you how much I love this bathroom. So right here, we have this giant cylinder sink from Agua and it's a showstopper. It's genuinely a showstopper. When people walk into this bathroom, this black teardrop tap that suspends from the ceiling over the sink is just what people comment on immediately when they come in. The second thing is the stunning tile. It is Ann Sachs. Again, I just feel like Ann Sachs does some of the best statement tile there is. It is textural, it is interesting, and it is white with little black, almost hand-drawn dots. It's very interesting. 
Above the sink, we have this mirrored situation that is backlit and it has a shelf. And we just have like this interesting, everlasting candle from Dwell Living, some flowers, some essential oils. It's really just like a display space. We managed to find this garbage can at HomeSense that could perfectly squeeze in between the sink and the toilet, which was not an easy feat. So I cannot believe we found that. Uh, and it's just a matte black. And then we have this soap dispenser that is actually like suspended on the wall so we just refill this and then we have this toilet which is a matte texture which i think is really interesting that is also from agua with this gold and black toilet paper dispenser that is from anthropology and here we have my pride and my joy my bathtub it is a freestanding bathtub it is the most beautiful shape it kind of goes up and around like it scoops and hugs your body uh, and then this back textured wall, also Aunt Sachs, so spectacular, all black, but very textural. We've got a heated towel rack behind the head of the tub, as well as heated flooring in here. I'm telling you, this bathroom is like chef's kiss. It is so fabulous. And behind that, we have three shelves, which we just have products on, basically. Um, some of them I use, some of them are just for display. By the way, this is a very tiny space, but it really packs a punch, so I feel like it might feel bigger than it actually is. Directly across from the toilet and behind the door, we have built-in storage, because of course, we don't have a vanity in here, we just have a freestanding sink. So we have built-in black shelving, where we can put things like toilet paper and beauty products and things like that. And then there's a lit up shelf, where we just have some towels and a candle and then there is this like archway that is lit up it's a gold backdrop and we just have more like little decor and display another one of those eye plates we got those by the way from dwell living as well and again directly across the hall is my bedroom i love my bedroom so 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 very much the moment you walk into my bedroom, we just have built-in closets. Uh, on this side, it's all long hanging. And then on this side, it's built-in shelving and then built-in laundry bins, which I love. And then right at the end here, we have Elton John's food feeding zone. So this is where he has his kidlets and bits. And then we have a mat to protect the, the nice floor. Throughout the space, we have Pravada flooring, uh, and it is a herringbone pattern, which I think makes all of the difference. It's a beautiful light oak color. I'll have all of the details of the specifics of my flooring linked in the description box down below. And then we have basically a display zone. It is you guessed it, rounded edges with a brass mirror. It's lit up. Like, I don't even know how to explain this space, but what we have here is these two bunny heads. I just adore them. They're so cute. They feel like my little friends. And then that leads directly into more built-in closet space. We've got Galloper Gooseman laying here on the floor. Such a sweet big boy, aren't you? My big boy, just book. This is shelving for shoes and handbags, then we have short hanging. These gold paneled shallow drawers are for jewelry and sunglass display with built-in velvet kind of storage. And then we have lots of deep drawers. And then basically at the end of all of these built-ins, there is windows, there's two of them, and then a wall in between where once again, there's a picture light and art will be going. Um, and over all of the windows in every single room we have these blinds from hunter douglas that are smart blinds so i am able to ask alexa to do it for me and i'm also able to use a screen reader friendly app to control them as well which i adore and then we have a built-in bench that is a storage bench it holds my weighted blanket um and basically that's it and then at the end of that there is Elton John's dog bed. By the way, I forgot to mention, but Gallup's dog bed is in the guest room. That's where he sleeps. So Elton John sleeps there right under the window, tucked between the bench and the built-in side table. It is a king-size bed for quite literally me and me alone. It is me and my stuffed animals. That is it. None of the, none of the animals sleep in here with me. It is a four foot 11 gal, two stuffies and a king size bed. And you know what? I love every minute of it. I love it. And then the built-in side tables are really textural and they have these gold B knobs on either side of the bed. And above the one on the far side close to the windows is these poof lights, just these poofy lights. They're like roses, they're feather lights. There's two of them and they're white, they're wall sconces. So they're attached to the wall above the side table. 
and when they're on they kind of glow like an orange color um, but they're actually pure white and the back wall is painted a nice pink color i'm gonna have all of the paint colors listed on screen and down below for you guys in case you want to recreate the look and something i did not know when i filmed this tour empty is that i have a pink ceiling above my bed it is a pink drop ceiling and there is four pot lights and a ceiling fan um but what i love is when those are turned off let me do that it's so moody there is like a strip of light around the drop ceiling as well as around a curved back cutout behind the bed. It's just such a vibe. This is how my lighting is at night right before I sleep. It's just my like come down, chill out lighting. I'll turn it back on so we can continue. Okay, so in the cutout, there is this light that goes around it and then there is this wallpaper that's like clouds. And so I kind of like to think of the puffly lights as like real clouds, textured clouds. And then there is the wallpaper, which unfortunately isn't textured wallpaper, but it was just too dreamy to pass up. Uh, and the bed is this textured gray fabric with this curved gold lining the edge of the back of the headboard and the footboard, though that is actually covered with all of my delicious blankies. I could take a nap right now. I really could. I feel like I've been running a marathon getting through all of this. <laughs> I wanted lots of texture on my bed. So we have this fluffy faux fur pink, which is absolutely divine. And it is from Anthropology. Then I have this gray, soft, fluffy marshmallow blanket. And that is from Pottery Barn. The bedspread is from Pottery Barn. The pink velvet pillows are from Anthropology. I have this hand knit blanket that's multi-textural gray and white from my aunt. Uh, and then the eye, it's like a, just like the plates. It's a whole theme we are running throughout. That is from Dwell Living and it is this woman's face in like cream gray and black, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it has a little bumblebee perched on her nose. And that is like the statement pillow of this whole thing. Um, on the one side table, I have like a candle. I have my Bose speaker for my bedroom. I love all my Bose speakers, but I love my Bose headphones just as much. I've actually been using Bose headphones since I want to say 2008 or 2009 is when I got my first pair. And that is how I fell in love with the brand and the quality of their sound. So I still use and love my headphones when I don't want to play my music out loud to disturb anyone. Is there anything else on that side? Just some candles, your water bottle, the sparkly one. Yeah, just, you know, things. And then on this side, I have this sage light, which is like a touch light. And it's my night light. It has little star cutouts and it's white. Just candles, some fresh flowers. It's a vibe. Oh, I have a little coaster with my mug. And again, little bee, so cute. Um, and then on this side, we have my bathroom. I really wanted this space to feel like a comforting, cozy, soft spa vibe. I call these my princess doors. These are from Mitri again, and they are a mini French door with this textured glass and then these textured gold knobs from Mtech again. I have my princess moment every time I open them. We walk in here, we've got mirrors with lots of storage, plenty more storage under the vanity, and we have the gold middle panel drawers as well in here with the bees. So it really flows from the bedroom into this bathroom. Um, we have that same Calcutta gold countertops. I am obsessed with this bowl sink. It's very textural, lots of gold, gray and white happening in here. We have this display in between the two mirrors and we just have, you know, like cotton buds. I have this adorable bunny from Anthropology and a candle at the very top. A nice little candle here, some plants, like it's just, you know, Find decor. Me. It's a vibe. I have a gold garbage can, which was a real mission to find. That was from uh, Amazon. And then this is so cute. It is this bumblebee toilet paper holder from Anthropology, And I do have the matching towel holder um, beside the door, right outside the shower. This toilet, my love. I've never thought that I would like love a toilet so much. It is a heated toilet. It lights up. It is a bidet. It is magical. I couldn't recommend it enough. I do have heated floors in here as well and my steam shower. This is an all glass shower with black handle. 
Um, so there are a few black accents, like the doors to get in and stuff. And then when you come in here, we have this very textural wall at the back. We have a built-in bench so that I can sit. It's just the most magical gold giant shower head. We have built-in shelving for me to put all of my products. Like, it's just such a special treat. This is totally my self-care moment, having my steam showers. And I could put some sage essential oils in, like eucalyptus or the spa blend. <sighs> this is my happy place. Truly, I could not love this more. And I think we have actually gotten through all of it. And I think what we need to do now is go have a little champagne toast. <laughs> scares me every time. All right, I lied. It's not a champagne toast. It's a Prosecco toast, but close enough. I am back in my living room. I've got my two boys faithfully by my side. My parents here with me to celebrate. This has been a long time coming. I wanna say thank you so much to every single person, uh, both virtually and in real life, who has supported me to get to this point of owning my first home, designing and renovating it, decorating it. I could not be more excited and more proud. I hope you guys in some small way might be proud of me um, as well and like the way that it's been decorated. We basically did all the decorating on our own, my mom and I, um, and I, I don't know, I'm biased, but I think we did a great job and I, I'm just so incredibly grateful. So to all of us, to everyone, cheers. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me and we've got many more adventures ahead. That's for sure. And until next time, you can click over here to see the original condo before any of the renovation. It looks very different. Or you can click over here to see the recent video that I posted of just specifically the accessible parts of this condo. Until next time, sending you all love and good vibes. Bye.